The current impression that Zimbabwe gives to the people of the world is a series of negative images, such as poverty, backwardness, and severe inflation. However, this does not mean that Zimbabwe has always been like this. At least it used to be glorious and laid a certain foundation in the industrial field. Today, we will explain one of its industrial achievements, the Leopard Armored Vehicle. The development of the Leopard Armored Vehicle began in 1974, when Zimbabwe was still known as Rhodesia. The purpose of designing this vehicle was mainly to deal with landmines, not various firearms. The vehicle is considered to be the world's first integrated mine-resistant vehicle, which is quite forward-looking from this point of view. This design concept may be related to the surrounding situation at that time. Speaking of the armored vehicle itself, in order to effectively reduce the damage caused by landmines to the vehicle and passengers, the vehicle structure appears very strange. Its main body is high above the ground, and the belly of the vehicle has a deep V shape, which can disperse the explosive shock. The upper part has a front and rear semicircular steel frame structure, which can be used to support the canopy. The reason why a closed hardtop is not used is because of concerns about increased pressure inside the vehicle after encountering a mine impact. Although it is mainly designed to resist landmines, the designer still installed 12 mm thick low-carbon steel plates around the vehicle. There are rectangular observation windows on the front and sides, and bulletproof glass is installed, which can withstand attacks from ordinary light weapons. The front wheels and steering structure of the armored vehicle are exposed to the body and protrude forward a considerable distance. This design can avoid the situation where the front wheels come into contact with pressure-activated mines and the passenger compartment is too close to the center of the explosion, thereby increasing casualties. Its engine and rear drive wheels are located at the rear of the vehicle, also independent of the main body. A 1600cc air-cooled four-cylinder gasoline engine provides power, but this engine from abroad is obviously unable to adapt to Zimbabwe's climate. It is always prone to overheating and lacks sufficient off-road power. Although the vehicle seems small in size, it can still carry one driver and five passengers. They all enter and exit through the rear door of the main body. The driver is located in the front right of the vehicle, and two passengers can sit behind him. The other three people are on the left side. The passenger seats are long seats leaning against the sides of the vehicle, and each seat has an adjustable seat belt. The Leopard Armored Vehicle is mainly used by civilian and quasi-military departments. Approximately 700 to 750 vehicles were produced between 1975 and 1979. During the production process, the vehicle's body was modified, such as replacing protective steel plates, but there were no major changes. At that time, Rhodesia distributed the vehicle to some quasi-military departments for use in patrols and other tasks. During use, the vehicle could carry a 7.62mm machine gun or other suitable anti-ambush equipment. However, including the police and other departments, they did not like the Leopard Armored Vehicle, mainly because its power was too weak. After Rhodesia changed to Zimbabwe, the surviving Leopard Armored Vehicles were handed over to the Zimbabwean security forces for continued use. Due to severe economic sanctions imposed on the country at that time, the Leopard Armored Vehicle could neither be sold abroad nor continue production. The majority of them were consumed during use, and the remaining quantity is very rare. The Leopard Armored Vehicle has an empty weight of 1760 kilograms and a loaded weight of about 2.2 tons. It initially used 12 millimeter low carbon steel as the protective steel plate, but later switched to better steel plates. The maximum speed is about 80 kilometers per hour, and the maximum range is unknown, estimated to be less than 300 kilometers. The original crew consisted of one driver and five passengers, but the modified version reduced one passenger.